You, you interrupted me and I just lost my train of thought. Next time I won't talk to you about it. That's true. You shouldn't. I won't. Good. And you can just review it with yourself. I will. Okay. Great. I'll just go do my own videos. <laughs> Greetings, Sonic fans. This is Moon Boy. Tootsie Roll Girl. <laughs> and tonight we watched 2005's Santa Slay as part of our Christmas Christmas series yep. um, of horror movies. Um, so this movie features Bill Goldberg, the old WWE wrestler. Mm -hmm from back in the day, uh, it was pretty fantastic. It was also, the first 30 seconds of the movie, it was also all these huge names, and they were gone right away. <laughs> it's like, what? Which was amazing. I loved that. And they were all just killed. And this movie, I know I'm not so, can I rate it yet? No. Okay. I'm not gonna rate it yet. <laughs> this movie what? I wonder if it. So, what did you think overall was it great? Was it horrible? Was it both? I thought it was great. <laughs> I did. And that's not only because... I mean, first of all... Sorry, I'm eating my chisel roll. It's a 2005 movie. Yeah. Which you have never seen, which is really odd. Yeah. I've never so, seen it. And then we saw it together, and we're like, this is... An, I was not drunk the first 20 minutes of the movie. <laughs> she corrected that pretty quickly. <laughs> but from like the first second, I'm like, I love this movie. It's just, it was just such a good movie from the start. I mean, it was obviously not an A movie. No. Obviously. But going into it, knowing you were watching a B movie, it was just, it was so amazing. It was an A plus B movie. I agree. I 100% <laughs> agree. <laughs> It so was it was awesome. kind of like a horror comedy, except there were no, like, jokey jokes. No, no, no. Or slapstick moments, right. really, but it was just... You... The whole thing was just hilarious. <laughs> yeah. It was absolutely... Oh, God, it was so funny. Mm. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. So I think we found another, another movie to add to our yearly tradition. Oh, yeah. I just ordered it on DVD. <laughs> Seriously. We watched it on Prime. Paid, like, two ninety nine to rent it. Yeah. As soon as it was over, I bought it on Amazon. Yeah, it was it was weird because like the, those first couple of minutes of the movie, the opening scene, you've got like Chris Kattan and a bunch of like you know, like Fran Drescher. Yep. And oh, what's that one girl's name with the curly hair? I can't. I don't remember any of their names, but the yeah, one girl with the curly hair, like just tons of people that you all know very well. Yeah. And they all got just. Demolished in like the first minute of the yeah, movie, they, was, like, and so they got crazy. demolished in like great ways. What was ways. the guy's name? The dad's name. He was just in a movie we watched the other night. I don't know. He is. He's gonna be one with a picture for sure. Maybe. He will be for sure. James James Con. Yeah, James Con. James Con. He got like. <laughs> he got just hosed right off the bat. Like in. <laughs> In the first minute, for sure. They're all they're all around the table. This family, this dysfunctional family. Very dysfunctional, yeah. which uh, is hilarious. And and all of a sudden, Santa comes down the chimney, and you see his feet and his like shins. That's it. And then he just punches, punches through, the through the wall because he's Goldberg. <laughs> and he's like, "That's right, Santa's real." And then he just jumps up onto the table and he stabs the, he stabs the guy right he stabs in the hands. Chris just... can right through the hands, and then like just proceeds to kill everyone else in the family. I think my favorite was Fran Drescher, where oh he, my god, yes, <laughs> he like swigs alcohol or something, and he takes one of the candles and he goes and he sets her head on fire and she's screaming in her like crazy nasally voice. Oh, it was great. 
And then they flash back to where they show her again when her hair is all on fire. Yeah. And then, like, again, they show her, and they go back to him, and they go back to her again, and she's, like, got no hair. <laughs> yeah, she's got, like, crazy burnt hair and stuff, and she's still screaming. So oh, then he takes her and, like, dumps her in this yeah, punch he, bowl. Yeah, he puts her in the eggnog and drowns her. Um, that was yeah, the best. Basically, every, every death in this movie was pretty amusing and inventive. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. I think that the least inventive one was running Grandpa over with uh, a reindeer. <laughs> <laughs> so, Santa. I agree with that. All right, let's, let's go with the premise of the movie. All right. <laughs> IMDb says that this movie is... Santa Claus is actually a demon who lost a bet with an angel, so he becomes a giver of toys and happiness. But when the bet is off, he returns to his evil ways. So basically, what happened was, Santa was kind of the opposite of Jesus. He was, he was born as an immaculate conception from the devil instead of God. And um, his name was Santa, and he would bring... Uh, horror to the world every year on Christmas, but it wasn't called Christmas then. But to combat that, the Christians would have a mass, or a mass of Christ or Christmas to kind of stave off the evil. Um, and that's where the name Christmas came from. But then this archangel comes down, bets Bet Santa in a game of curling. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that, in a curling match, that he could he could get to the this hole in the ice um, closer than Santa could, and if he won, then Santa would have to be nice for a thousand years. A thousand. And I can do that. The movie basically. I can be nice for a thousand years. No, you couldn't be nice for a thousand seconds. I could too. I've I've done it before. Like, but I've slept. When you were sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, for a thousand years, he would have to be nice and, like, bring joy to children and all this kind of stuff, right? So, 2005, the bet is over. It's been a thousand years. It's been a thousand years. And so he comes back and he starts killing he people. Just, he just starts He just kills everybody. Everybody. There's like, it doesn't matter who you are. Like, he, he's he, just go, going, oh, you He's like, dead. oh, there's a foul-mouthed grandma. Okay, let me kill her. Let me kill her. <laughs> yeah, she won't get out of my fucking way. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, that's the funny thing is, is that he he literally kills everybody that he sees. Yeah. Like, everybody. And it's all amazing. Like, you're you're on his side. You're like, kill her. Kill yeah. him. Kill him. But you don't want her to kill, like, main guys. Yeah, I do. No, I don't care. I, I do. I care. Because I, I thought they were a cute couple. Anyway, I thought the two were a cute couple, but every other death I wished upon it. So it actually worked out great for me. Yeah. And then that's why I loved the movie, because it was awesome. I mean, I didn't care if the main people died, but, I mean, Claire from Lost, who's the, the main chick in this. She's awesome. She's very cute. She's very and cute. I would be, she's so I would be awesome. disappointed if she wasn't alive. I don't know. That, that one guy I don't know, and I, I know I've seen him before, but the main, like, her boyfriend guy, I don't know who he was. Um, he, he's, he's, we've seen him in things. But I think he's been like, like, um... Douglas Smith? Mm -hmm. um, I think he's been a lot of like, like side characters and stuff. I don't think I've ever seen him as like a star or anything, but, um... Yeah, he's in like a lot of weird things like Bye Bye Man. Alienist, we loved that show. We need to I've check never even seen that show. Yes, you have too. Not once. Oh, I saw that show. I <laughs> love that show. I gotta see if there's a second season out. But, yeah. Um, it was a good first season. It was it was a good movie. Um, it was short, though. It was about an hour and 20 minutes. Really? Yeah. I didn't even notice. I liked it a lot. It seemed it seemed a little short to me, but I think it, it did everything that it needed to. And, I it, agree. and it just, like, cut out the bull crap. I agree. And I was, agree. 100% on there that. Was, there was no, times like, I was like... Like this movie doesn't even have to have a plot. It's just it doing doesn't. it's just doing some fun stuff. And I'm like, I don't care. Like this is fun. <laughs> it did have a plot though. It had, it had a loose plot, yeah. Yeah, which I liked. Because it was just a relationship um, and that was fine. So basically the the main but you know what I, I will say one negative is that they never told us what was gonna happen to the boy. 
Like at the end, where was he going to go? Who was he going to live with? What was he going to do? Was he 18 yet? Or... He was 16. Yeah, so who's going to take matter. care of him? It doesn't matter. I think it does. I think it does matter. No. It matters. But I don't like hair because he got hooked up with that chick. But still, I think it's going to matter when Santa Claus is gone, everything, whatever, and then they want to hook up, but they can't because he's getting sent off to some foster home in Washington <laughs> or something. I don't know. Anyway, sorry. I won't, I won't do that. Okay, go ahead. Um, I don't even know where I was going. You, you interrupted me and I just lost my train of thought. Next time I won't talk to you about it. That's true. You shouldn't. I won't. Good. And you can just review it with yourself. I will. Okay. Great. I'll just go do my own videos. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, the, the Archangel winds up being the main character's grandfather. Mm -hmm. Which is pretty um, cool. Which was... Definitely obvious from the start, but oh yeah, but still pretty cool. Um, it was it was a fun little side story that they, I totally agree. They they had like a another match of curling towards the end of the movie, yeah, uh, which turned out badly yeah. for one of those people. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it was also fun to see Santa driving like a zamboni and like killing people. Oh yeah, and uh, you know of course. You know, halfway through the movie, he takes off his his Santa jacket. Oh, he's, yeah. he's, 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 got his, just, he's just got his pythons out. I was like, rawr. And, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, it was it was great. Um, he was hot. What was the best kill for you? Um, I would say the old lady driving that who like he got she, she hit him in the back of the car and her car was like wee. So Santa had like a rocket-powered sleigh, but it was pulled by a white bison. Bison, yeah, or buffalo. Right. And he called it his reindeer, but it wasn't. Everybody in the movie, though, called it his reindeer. Like, it'd be one thing if he called it his reindeer, but everybody called it his reindeer, which I thought was a little weird. It wasn't a reindeer it at wasn't. all. It was a freaking bison. <laughs> it was a buffalo. Yeah. It was like Appa from freaking... Yeah. Um, whatever. The, yeah, the, last Airbender. Yeah, Last Airbender. That so I mean, it, it was a flying buffalo. So like, yip yip, Papa. Right. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we watch a lot of stuff. Yeah. That was a great show, though. Um, I, I don't know. I I can't say enough good things about this. I know. I th literally the only negative thing I had to say about it at all was that they didn't tell us what was going to happen with him. Who cares? I, I do. Because I care about the details. Are you turning like into that. my mom, though? No, I'm not saying that I really. I'm not. <laughs> I love you, mom. I'm not saying that that made me hate it. I still love the movie. I loved everything about it. All I'm saying is that's my only negative thought on the whole movie. What I enjoyed was that this acted in true B horror movie slasher film um, fashion. And they went to a strip club out of nowhere for no reason whatsoever. I know, and I loved it. Other just than to see boobs. boobs. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we like that too. <laughs> <laughs> there was just random boobs for no reason, and then he set them all on fire. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> You're right. I did really like that that part. Not not me, but for him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so. <laughs> All in all, I think that this is is moving very fast to the top of my list. For sure. Of Christmas horror movies. For sure. Like, what other Christmas horror movies are there? Are there any other ones that are like Krampus? Obviously, is a good one. Krampus. What else? Gremlins. Yeah. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Because Gremlins, is, it's like a horror movie. It's not like you believe it's a Christmas horror movie, but I don't believe that. It's a hundred percent a Christmas horror movie. I don't know. Maybe. The entire thing takes place on Christmas. He got okay. a Gremlin for Christmas. All right. So tell me, <laughs> which ones are your favorite then? Uh, out of the, the Christmas ones we just talked about. Krampus, this movie, and Gremlins. These three. They're my top three. They're, but which one's your favorite out of these three? We will get to that in a later film review. What? I want to know right now. We can't. Have, this is this part of the process. So we're gonna do a review of three movies. Well, we're gonna do a review of five movies. What are the other two? We did Jack Frost. Okay. Okay. I might need to watch that again because it is just not sticking with me. I'm pretty sure I was drunk for that one. You were. You were so drunk that we couldn't do a review. What? Yeah. You passed out. 
<laughs> Whoops. <laughs> was that the one I was like, I'm going to go to bed? I think so. Uh, so, no, that was not a horrible one. Was that horrible? It wasn't. What was the one that was horrible? What was that one movie that you made me watch? And I was like, can I go to please go to bed? And you're like, no. It was something else. God, that was the worst. It wasn't a Christmas movie. No. Anyway. I hated that movie. So we got Jack Frost. Okay, I'm about to watch that again. We got Santa Slay. Yep. Gremlins. Gremlins Krampus. Mm -hmm. And one more. And we'll, it'll probably be something from, from Shudder. Another Christmas movie. Like the one um, you've already seen or what we're going to see? I, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Because there's one that is a classic that I know that you won't like. What is it? Um, what is it called? Silent Night, Deadly Night. Okay, I think I've, I've done that one. I don't think that you would like that at all. But if we're going to review it, I have to watch it, which means you have to watch it with me. Right. But whether or not you'll want to even sit through it, I'm not sure. I could try. If you want to review it with five movies, I'll try. I'll be really drunk but i will definitely watch it if i'm really drunk i might pass out though <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a problem um you're gonna have to rewatch jack frost just so we can do the review i think i just need to watch like five minutes of it and i'll remember it all you know what i mean like that's just all i need to do tell me again no we'll talk about it later <laughs> sorry anywho i'm a little drunk i got tootsie rolls how many -roll girl. how many moons does this movie get? Ten. Ten moons. Ten moons. I love this movie. Okay, first of all, I just want to say, there are A movies that get ten. There's not a lot, but there are some. This is a B movie. Like, it is 100% a B movie. It is not an A movie, but I give it ten for a B movie. Does that make sense to you? This was amazing for a B movie. Nothing has ever made more sense. Right? <laughs> right? Like this movie's a 10. This, that's how it's I feel 10. about that. We had it's to buy B, it. It was so good. I know. I'm like, the second it was over, I'm like, going on the Amazon, I'm buying it. That's how good this movie is. Nothing was. says Christmas more than a six foot four, 260 pound Jewish man <laughs> as Santa Claus that's killing right. everyone exactly. in sight. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's all there is to say. I mean, that was the, I was true, like truly the best movie, like the best. Oh, anyway, yeah, <laughs> we're fucking demented, but we really like that movie. It was, good. it was good. So, if you've ever seen this movie, let us know in the comments below. And if you have not seen this movie, fucking see this movie and let us know in the comments below because this was such a good movie. Yeah. And have a drink first, but I mean, I swear to God, I, I had like two sips of my drink when we started it, and I loved it within the first second. Tell, tell us, tell us your favorite kill. That's oh, yeah. what I want to see down here. I want to see your favorite kill. Mine was Fran Drescher getting her hair on fire. That was two. That was awesome. Uh, and then drown in the eggnog. Yeah. But there was so many. There was so many oh, kills. Oh my God, so many. Favorite. I don't even know if I can remember them all right now. Yeah. Like no way. Tons. But I definitely like the old lady being killed. She was. Yeah. She was and her flying through the air in the car. Like, she that was, was just quite awesome. a crush the old lady. She sure. really was. She she was dropping f bombs and calling people cunts. <laughs> uh, it was it was crazy. It was crazy and like everybody wanted to kill her. So I really liked that that he came in and killed her. Like that made me so happy. Yeah. Anywho. That's the shortest one we've ever done. It is. It's because we just loved it so... Like, we have nothing to say about it as There wasn't being anything bad. negative. There was nothing negative about this movie. It was just so perfect. Like, why did we even watch that movie? Like, what's the point? Because we've never seen that? it before. I know that, but it seems so crazy to me that you have never seen it before. Well, I knew that it was going to be a bad movie. So but, I was like, I was like, hmm, this is going to be a bad kind of, review because we're going to have stuff to say about it. But we don't. But we don't. It was <laughs> such a good... Okay, normally, you guys have seen our reviews in the past, okay? Normally, if we watch a bad movie like that, he either really likes it or I really like it. We never both really like it. We both loved this movie. It was just, oh my god. So, I apologize if you take our advice and go see this movie and you hate it. I don't know why you would. It, it was worth such a good movie. It was worth a $3 rental. Within the first five minutes. Oh, wait, oh, absolutely. The opening scene was worth the $3. Right, we haven't even met the main characters yet. We were just like, 
this is the best movie. <laughs> this movie is awesome. Like, honest to God, that's that's how like that's really how this movie was. It was so good. Yeah. That's all there is to say. That's all there is to say. I'm sorry, people, but we love you, and yeah. I don't know what else to say. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Please. Get it. Bye-bye.